Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. Check, check, check. This is Unique House. It's your boy ECO, and I'm with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing. You know, my day is all gone. I want y'all to stop what y'all doing. Go ahead and like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. I mean, our TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, you name it, we're on it. But definitely check out Patreon because all our full length interviews, that's where we have them. And they drop way before all these clips drop and on our YouTube membership. So y'all say y'all love Boss Talk. We see y'all all the time. Y'all say you love our brand, love what we're doing. Go ahead and support us. Sign up for our membership so you get to see everything way before everybody else does. Man, hey, man, listen, man, guys. You're in for a special treat. My boy's in the building. DJ K is in the building, man. Stand up, man. Fast ENT is in the building, man. This guy right here, man, he been working. Uh, he back on Boss Talk 101. It's been a year now, and he back. You know what I'm saying? East Texas in the building. Stand up. You know, uh, a lot of people don't understand, man, what it means to come from uh, nothing and then make it. Nothing out of something. That's what your boy ECO did. He makes something out of nothing. Oh, uh, yeah. Flip it around. <laughs> Flip it around. I was going in too hard. <laughs> exactly. Make something out of nothing. <laughs> and at the end of the day, you got to understand, man, uh, it's just something to be a, a part of something, you know, that, uh, you know, where you linked up with some good people. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Mama Scott. Shout out to uh, all them people down in the country, man. Pop Johnson, Trill Talk, No Peel Talk, Ro Tarantino, everybody, man. Uh, uh, what's that boy, AJ1? What's that, what's that your boy? Brother. What's your brother, AJ1K or something? K1? We ain't gonna, we ain't gonna play AJ1K. Hey, man. Well, what's that girl name? What's that? D what? D what? D Journey. Man, all right, man. Listen, man. Let's get it right, man. We're gonna start this thing off right. Shout <laughs> them out, man. The whole team, man. You guys are extraordinary, man. Um, making a making a uh, moves down there that really ain't been made before. I, I like what I see and what you guys have done and accomplished, man. So welcome to the show. Nah, man, I'm excited to be here. I'm enjoying myself already, bro. You know. I'm welcome to the show. Man, it's DJ K, and I'm in the building with Boss Talk. <laughs> man. You know what I'm saying? Man, let's talk, let's talk about it, man. man. So I mean, you guys are, are, are live, man. Like, like it's a it's a, a good thing to uh, uh, you know. I watch you, man. Um, I watch you. I remember when you did that Thunderbird with uh, Al D mm -hmm. and uh, Three Hundred. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, man, this this dude right here, he knows how to pick who to put on his tracks. How did y'all <laughs> even do that? Like, what what made y'all work together, man? Um. Shout out Ralph Sheridan, you know, the prince of the city, you know what I'm saying? I think he was a big puzzle piece in putting that together. And, you know, that the rest is history. He called, he made the call. But honestly, to be honest, shout out Al D. We already kind of had our own relationship anyway. We had our own report to where, you know, he would just be telling me a lot of, you know, giving me a lot of good game or whatnot, you know what I'm saying? And I'm, you know... I'm going to hear it and I'm going to soak it all in, you know, because I'm trying to learn, you know, and grow to be the best I can be. And he's definitely somebody to look up to in this hip-hop game, you know. I respect his craft. And so just to make that song with him was really cool. That song, Hard as Hell, you know, a lot of people love that song. I, I got off on it. He did his shit, as he always going to do. And it's, it's like I can listen to it and never get tired of that song. I love this whole album. Like, But, nah, shout out. 300. Shout out my nigga LD for sure, bro. Like, Man, like, like, um, you guys had different scenes on it. You look like y'all up standing up high on something. I remember that. Man, how was it like making a, that video? Man, it was cool. It was different. I tried to step outside the box or step away from the norm or what I was doing at the time, which is working with a lot of models. So I had like took a detour off for a couple of videos of just doing shit with no models. And you know what I'm saying? Like, that was just me and Al D on some hip hop shit. You know what I'm saying? It was like an apocalyptic type space. We shot the video in, and it was like the end of the world. Like, it was just me and him left. Just, <laughs> because he, you know what I'm saying? It's just kind of like self explanatory in a sense. But man, like I say, man, it's, wow. it's amazing to have him on my project, bro. You know. Yeah, and, and so is that that gonna be uh, with this new album? Is that gonna be one of the songs that made it? It's on there. It's on there. It's on there. Yeah, it's out okay. Now. Yeah. Shout How out many out songs on the new album? It's fifteen. Fifteen. Fifteen cuts on there. Fourteen original cuts for sure. 
Because mm-hmm. I threw No Pretend on the back end of the album. Because okay. I felt like it was going to be a lot more new listeners. So I was like, that's like a good cut to just throw on there, keep on there. Wow. What's your story for this album compared to any other album you've done? The story for this album, I think, is just evolving as far as it's just about evolution really i think it's more so as far as my evolution and it's centered around i would say it's centered around just growing as an artist and growing up in this game like you know i'm getting you know you can't help but to get older so you got to learn how to you know stay fresh and keep the music jamming and 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 evolve find find a way to change in a good way you know because just change isn't always good but i think people can appreciate it when you're trying as an artist to create they can tell when you're trying some different shit you know yeah like uh, he ain't just phoning it in and just doing the same shit all the time like they can tell oh uh, well, he tried something but you know, just try some time. You know, it, it's okay to be creative and be open-minded and try some different shit as artists. I'm speaking of just making music. Like, you know, it's okay to just get on different beats sometimes that you don't typically get on. Or, you know, just to, just step outside the box. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? The name of the album, Arranged, Composed, and Performed by DJ K. Yeah, man. Yeah. That's hard. It's hard. I, the title is inspired from Prince, for sure. Man, so I, I think I think that's a big deal, man. Like you, you, you guys have been around a lot. I see, I, you know, AJ One K. He he done the song with Boosie mm-hmm. and with Sauce Walker, it's and right. then you turn around and and you know you do the song with uh, Al D Three Hundred yeah. Ti. Who else have you worked with? Uh, Tech, Tech Luwap, Tech Luwap, Rico, Tech Luwap, Luwap, and Rico Reckless from Chicago. Man, so, and mm-hmm. you guys have something special when it comes down to, you know, collabing with the right people, you know what I mean? The team, the way y'all put it together where everybody is collectively, and I, I'm in, in the journey, she she rocked out with uh, Lil Ronnie, and then the, the other girl in Florida, wasn't it in Florida? Um, I think yeah, it was a girl in Florida. Yeah, damn, she's I done forgot the girl, people, yeah, though. yeah, I uh, done seen her. Did she go hard? Yeah, she is hard. The one that stick out to me the most is the one with Big J. Okay, the, the one like with Big J. Like Mike for yeah. Sure. Man, that's hard, man. I think, like I said, when it comes down to East Texas and what you guys are doing, nobody is really touching you when it comes down to linking with certain people and putting those features together. And really, you know, working with different artists is collabing, putting up the uh, the, the right, you know, the bag, doing the things that you got to do to make sure that you, you, you know, as an independent team, you guys look like you're on a label. You know what I mean? Because of the way that you guys, Mama Scott and all that team have put, you know what I mean? Put up funds and did different things to make sure that y'all collect the right type of momentum for people to see you. And I think you guys in the South, it's very easy to say that everybody know who y'all are. You know what I mean? It's big. But yeah. It's something that I think you have to really take heed to and just, I guess, not neglect it you know what i'm saying because sometimes you could be so down to earth to where you could just neglect it in the sense but you gotta like carry it with like responsibility and use it for good in the sense like for me i try not to just waste my followers time like i really don't be just posting too much shit. like i really try to stay straight to the point like i just keep it on the keep the attention on the music you know what i'm saying like every time i'm posting i'm trying to like present a music video or a song, you know what I'm saying? I don't really just be on that bitch vending. But maybe I need to be, you know what I'm saying? It's it's cool to be open with your fans and stuff like that, but speaking of what you saying, not the detour, because, you know, I just took this shot at tequila, so, you know, I got to <laughs> But, man, shout out my mom, Mama Scott. She's always been a legend to me, so just to hear you say that, that, you know, we have a prevalent presence in the South and in, in the culture in any type of way is like hard to earn like you know what i'm saying nothing is given everything is earned at least in in my eyes i feel like you have to earn everything like nobody's just gonna give you nothing nobody owes you nothing so you gotta wake up and go to sleep every day with this shit on your heart your soul and your mind they gotta burn in you you gotta you gotta you know yeah i think you like i said you said it right i mean you 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 gotta have people don't understand man um, those relationships, building those relationships, those pictures. I see her. I've always got on her about I talk. Hey, man, you the brand. You got to do more to let people see you and, and and understand who you are because you're special. You know that's something that I think uh, the whole team. You guys are definitely making noise. But at the end of the day, it's 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 you do things that you're doing. 
it should be noise being made. You know, like I said, working with the people that you guys have worked with. You know what I'm saying? And and to be honest with you, that long as you know me, you know what I'm saying? That that listen, man. I didn't even see that coming. I seen y'all down there. We had spoke a little bit about it when I came down and visited y'all. Mm -hmm. I didn't know which way y'all was going to go with it, but I knew something was in, you know, happening. Mm -hmm. Something was about to go down. And then I see, uh, of course, he danced in this little dance. It was like a little bit. You didn't put out much, but the little nigga danced across T.I. I'm talking about. Yeah. And when he did it, you know, he was smooth as T.I.B. Yeah. And then T.I. Yeah. basically... Um, yeah, uh, you posted that, and that did how much? How many views did that do when you posted? Man, like they both currently got a million a piece on Instagram and Facebook. Wow, wow. that's kind of crazy, you know. Like it's you don't never expect to go viral. Like true enough, obviously. Like yeah, it's Ti, but it's like damn, I ain't never went viral like that before. So yeah, like, damn, you know, you, it's a first time feeling kind of like the bust down a million like yeah if you wake up and there's two motherfuckers arguing on your post you know like damn the yeah that's part of arguing. what we do yeah like, yeah 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 yeah, yeah well, like when was the last time ti even did a song that's big that's the that's whole the game thing, he, did, he hadn't done a song in, done uh, with nobody like that i've in seen while. in a long time mm -hmm. yeah, and for so y'all to you gonna have to break that down to us like how did you guys even get him to do it like how did y'all end up linking with him uh r. Peter, it was clay uh, yeah, he was living during the time mm -hmm. when you guys was linking with him, and um, mm -hmm. just give me an understanding. Well, I think I want to believe. I think he just died recently. Yeah, he did. So the song was already complete. Correct. So he, he didn't get the, to hear it. Yeah, the song. He been. He heard the song the first day I met him. For sure. Wow. So that's I did the verse the first day I met him. So he like run the mic up and stuff, and I recorded it right in front of him. You know, while he was getting his dreads refreshed or dreaded. You know, he was sitting up there watching so like man it's a real experience i hate that you know rp clay right. passed away that's really sad you know so we kind of took our time getting to the video shoot whenever he got ready you know to get his mind and, and himself together for it you know yeah because because clay because clay passing during mm -hmm. this time was something to where it affected him for sure because exactly. he'd been with him a long time mm -hmm. like and so for you to uh y'all was doing this project in the midst of this happening so that kind of, and, and he still, you know, he I know it was tough on him, and he had to figure out a way to get a, you know, go through it. But he been through so much, losing his cousins, and mm -hmm. he done did, he been through a lot already, you know. It's a lot to take in. Yeah, you know, yeah. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, you guys got it done. It's a blessing, man. I think it's God, you know, shout out God, because now I can really tell other people that you know, dreams really are real. You can really accomplish the stuff that you think that, you, you know, not you know that's a dream you can make it happen man what was one of the things that ti like like that stuck out to you like you already was a fan of ti you spoke mm -hmm. about ti yeah. on the previous show when me yeah. and you interviewed before you even met him and you didn't even know that that was going to happen but by faith things can just happen you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so what was it that sticks out to you that you remember that that when you guys was doing the video, when you guys was doing the music, that y'all even was able to get together and, you know, do the music. Well, like tangibly, I got a shout out um, Dina Marto. Okay. That's his assistant, so that's how I was able to get in contact with, to, to, with you know, just to even get the process, with to even get a chance at the process, because Tip ain't finna just do a song with you. So it was like, he gotta see what's up to even see if you wanna do it. So it was like a process of even seeing, you know, like I had to send some music out there. So that record is actually his record he sent to me. As long as you know me, it's really a real T.I. record produced by my guy Mars, which is, he's a he's Nipsey's producer. He's one of like Nipsey Hussle's primary producers along with a couple other producers, um, Mike and Keys and a couple other producers. I know they produce with Nip, but my guy Mars got a lot of hits. Like he produced uh, Chris Brown, Take You Down. Okay. So I was like, man, it's, it's, it's deep waters working with these giants. So it's yeah. a blessing to get that record. So Tip sent that record to me. After I sent him a couple of my records, he's just, and, and, you know. He just basically, he, he, hey, yeah. you know, being, being, being Tip, you know, he king of the South, you know. Let's yeah. be real for a minute. Of course he sent you a couple of his tracks to let you know. Yeah. Hey, because he know, I'm pretty sure, and you, and you learn from it. You respect it because at the end of the day, it's like he don't even do the music with people no more. He got tons of music over there, I'm yeah, pretty sure. Yeah. He probably just do it as a sparring. He just in there in the booth. You know, he I kind of semi-retired. Like, he, well, he ain't got nothing else to prove. 
No, I've already seen him be number one multiple times. So. Yeah, now now what's so crazy is you in an elite group. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You got songs with this, this guy that you know he done done songs with everybody from Young Thug to Rihanna to mm. you in a class. Listen, man, you in a different class when you start thinking about the people who have done songs with this guy, yeah. uh, who's been in music with this guy. You you start thinking from that level and you start to understand this guy's been on tracks with a lot. Boosie and all these people that got they got projects coming out together. Him and Boosie, I was waiting on that. Project hit for they had their little scuffle, you know what I'm saying? Mm. For the back and forth went so, but just to see that you guys was able to get down there and get you something out of it was, yes. man, that's a blessing, man, because it don't happen all the time, right? It's one of the ones like I was sitting up here talking to y'all, like no cap, y'all can go back and watch the interview from. Yeah, 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 so yeah, the, the one we did first, and you, yeah, and it, and, and it's, it's clear enough that this was the guy that you really liked a lot, and I and I think that's hard, man. So. I mean, that's what it's all about. I would, you know, I ain't going to use the word like, but it's just, um, I say it. respected. And, you know, of course, probably you could use idolized to a degree. I'm not one of those cats that's going to get up here and not give people their flowers. I'm not an artist or a rapper that's ashamed to be like, oh, I listened to 50 Cent when I was growing up and Lil Wayne and the rest of the GOATs, you know what I'm saying? The Jeezys and the Andre 3000s and the, you know, you can go on up the Kanye's or the who. Drake now future you know like it's a lot of greats to listen like it's hard how do you make bad music when you know what I'm saying you got all this influence of just classic material and you gotta be yourself I think that's what make everybody different you know wow. you gotta have your own self in the music you know what I'm saying yeah I, now this is to get back to the T.I. record bro man I like I could talk all day about it but it's a blessing y'all like it's, it's dope as fuck the record hard, the video hard. I think we got some here. And on, you know, shout out East Texas. I'm proud to be an artist that came from East Texas and made this type of thing happen. Who, who else from East Texas has a song uh, uh, that with a big with, with a Ti with a huge artist like that? No, well, you can play right? the game of asking yourself who's the last several artists that Tip has worked with, and you gotta put me in that. Yeah, no, that's yeah, what I said know. earlier. That's that's yeah, big. Right, yeah. You can't, you know, I I know you very humble and I respect it, but at the end of the day, you know, that's a big accomplishment for a guy, uh, you know, uh yeah, that, I know y'all want me to talk my shit. No, nah, you you yeah, definitely yeah. already showing it by your work. Yeah. So I mean you ain't gotta yeah. say nothing. It's all what's already what? Already you see it, it's but I understood. Make a great entertainment, you know, but I think I'm genuinely just being me, I think. you know, Nothing wrong with it. And that's what you always mess. need to yeah. be. Don't ever let anything or anyone change you. Right. You need to always mm -hmm. be you. Yeah, but yeah. Um, being around Tip, because you know how a lot of time when we be around people who have been where we want to strive to become, um, I always say you need to always try to soak up some sort of game. Mm -hmm. What was it that stands out to you that he gave you some game? Tell me some things that he told you. How he carry yourself. Tell me about it. So what did he say? You got to watch how people carry it. I mean, you don't have to watch nothing, but, like, you can just pick up game off of multiple things, like how people carry themselves with respect and um, people, how, how to have a presence and how to just, just how, that's a lot. That goes a long way. You know what I'm saying? And also the work ethic. Like, I seen him record a song without writing the lyrics. Like, he just went straight. The, the first day I met him, he played us, like, 20 five records like just hard records just in the vault like one of the songs got cardi b and two chains on it like this was last summer so just know whenever you hear that song i heard it already, you already, you already heard it me. and it's fine but yeah and it's it's a hit whenever he want to put it out but he he played a lot of hits for us and then after that this was like probably like around one or two in the morning he went in and just did a song like without writing the lyrics just pulled the beat up just went in there and just was just rapping like like that, that you know what I'm saying? As an artist, when you see that, when you see, you know, plenty of people do it now, but you know, when you see, you know, he wanted the first to do it because he come from back in the day. You know, this mm -hmm. somebody that was working with for real his first right. eight, 21 years old. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. so I was like, damn, he done seen it all. This man that done been in a movie with Paul Walker. You know what I'm saying? Exactly, and, taken. So seeing him and seeing his movement like that, do you also strive to um, be in film? Yes, yes. I would definitely love to be 
in a movie. You know, like do movies. That's dope. You know, I would love to go, like be an actor, like act a little bit. You know, uh, like it's open. I'm open. You think you that. can handle it? Yeah. Yeah. Cause you just so laid back. Yeah. Like what kind of role you think you can? Y'all just don't see it, bro. That's all. I just try to keep the quality control. Like I try to like. Okay, yeah. well, let us in let and tell us. It. Tell us who DJ K is like Man. when you're not like this. Tell us who you are. I guess. Shit, man, an anomaly, like something different. I don't think I'm just a, a fly by night person. I'm gonna be here for a long time. Are we here for a long time? Like, I think what's trying to like answer the question will make me different. Yeah. It's it's a long drawn out answer, but I'm a person that went to a different. You know, I was one of those kids that went to multiple schools growing up. You know what I'm saying? So socially, I'm wired different. I don't get attached to people. I know how to detach from people. I know how to be best friends with somebody and never see them again. You know what I'm saying? And basically, I could talk to all walks of life. Like, bro, like, I know how to, you know what I'm saying, walk in any, any room and talk to any type of person and just respect and love, like, carry myself with love and not disrespect the next person for no reason. Like, you know, it's just, and I'll raise, right? You know what I'm saying? I don't know, like, I'm fast. Like, my mama, my manager, you can't really name too many people who, who has a mama like Mama Scott. Who got real VVs and real diamond rings on and, and gold teeth and and she's genuine, like she's angelic, you know what I'm saying? She'll she'll take that stuff off and punt it for you if you really need it. You know what I'm saying? Like these people like I don't know, I know I'm just something different, like I, I feel really blessed, you know what I'm saying? Man, you are really blessed, man. And, and yeah. it's a, like I said, it, it ain't something that happens all the time. That's what people yeah. don't let people you know, people are try to uh, 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 you know, talk down on the fact or try to bring it down to a level they can understand. Yeah. Don't mind people being uncomfortable in the fact that they haven't done the things that you, the things that you've been able to do. Don't let them overlook what you've accomplished, bro. Right. You got to be yeah. strong in this situation. You got to stand in the gap. You cannot let because that's that because people are trying to get you to understand from their level. Your perspective is on a whole nother level. They hadn't done what you done. And. I'm never gonna be too bold to not hear nobody, like, cause somebody might really be giving you some real game, you know. Yeah. Like, never get too big headed to where you can't hear what somebody's saying. Like that that's real. Good. Like, that's real. Crash out. <laughs> might crash out faster like, than what I you would even know. I don't have any Grammys or millions or nothing, none of that. Like, you could be a billionaire. Like, somebody might really be try trying to tell you something that you need to hear. Man, you that's funny you said it. that, cause you know yeah. you start talking about Grammys and all that stuff. Like I said, the guy that yeah. you just did that music with got a lot of different things that a lot yeah, of different yeah, elements yeah. to him, man. That nigga played on Get Hard, nigga. No, that nigga, really. yeah, that nigga be with Will Ferrell, nigga. You yeah. know what I'm saying? This shit. <laughs> hey, yeah. That nigga got so much stuff going yeah. on. That nigga was on. That nigga was on. Uh, 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 what's that? I love to be American like, Gangster. Bro. That nigga was on American Gangster with uh, uh, mm. with Craig Lucas, nigga. You know what I'm saying? With Denzel. That, with Denzel and Craig Lucas. Yeah, nah, that boy playing baseball over there, man. You, you gotta got understand, it. like I was a kid. You got well, I didn't have the money growing up. I'm sure a lot of us as kids didn't go see these people. In the 2000s, like you probably was a kid, so it was like I couldn't go to his concert in 2007. But nigga, I know he performing at the BET Awards and shit. I know like a lot of people gonna be there. Like this is like during the times like Beyonce and them would all be performing. Like you gonna be glued to the TV like like a concert. Like them BET Awards in the 2000s hit like that. So like man, that's what it was. Like I I remember seeing him at multiple BET Awards doing this shit. You know what I'm saying? Just like damn, this is dope. Like. I want to do that. You know what I'm saying? Him, Wayne, all them. You know what I'm saying? 50, like, all them boys, like. But it's something different about uh, T.I. because of, and I've always, even on the people that I hired, on, you know, on, on my, my other gig or, or I have hired over the years, um, it's something about family. Um, you see him as a family hustle. I see him as a father who stayed true to his family. It don't matter what he done. People laugh at you. They see you. Me and my wife been together for 20 years. We've been in the same room with T.I. a lot of times. Mm -hmm. We've been in a lot of places with this dude. But at the end of the day, family, man. I always had my kids with me. I always, he was family. I had family. You know what I'm saying? That's what stuck out to me about him is that he, he, he stayed true to fatherhood, to being a father, being there for his kids. That's more important than all this That's other just stuff. That's major. Yeah, just like Mama Scott, family. Having all of her kids, trying to you know manage and help them with their art and artistry, their music careers. It's all about family. Family is the foundation, brother. 
So at the end of the day, if he if it wasn't the family or any way that he is, I don't think I'd have supported a coup mm-hmm. and all the brand. Real, so. I wouldn't have supported his movement like I did. Yeah. I I've been selling a coup. I sold it till it from from '08 all the way. I can tell you every situation with that Thanks. brand. So at the end of the day, for you to go down there and link with him, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I can tell you it was a, it was the right move. No matter what what it took to do it, you know what I'm saying? Because because of family, you know bro. Because yeah. of family. Mm-hmm. That's what you get. It's real simple. A lot of people have kids. They ain't staying with their kids. They ain't in the house with them. They 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 they, they let some other man come come in the house with their kids at times. They ain't even willing to stay in the gap. They'll lead a woman because of the first problem that might acquire. They not a man will stay in the gap and stay with his family, man. And that's what I see in it. Just be real for and a minute. It's very priceless. You know? it's, <laughs> so it's, I, I just know the real. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm one of them dudes, valuable, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's a great example. Like you ain't never seen him just, you know what I'm saying, not be there for his family. He there for his family and his old lady, man. And like I said, Tiny sticking in there with him. They may say this about him, might say mm-hmm. that about him. A lot of times you gotta understand these people got money. They could break mm-hmm. up easy. Right. Me and my wife could have been and gave up a long time ago, but you decide to stay. Mm-hmm. And it don't matter. It ain't been no damn twenty years of happily ever after. No, you got you yeah, gonna yeah. go through some things over twenty years of me and this woman being together. So he done been through some things. I don't have to talk to him, be in a room with him. I know he done been through mm-hmm. some stuff. Hell, you see a lot of it on TV, but it, that ain't the half of it. You, the, the, what the media yeah. talk about ain't even the half of it. So, man, for like I said, when you start going down that tip road, you see me with several pictures on that wall Not with real him because yeah. I rock with him a long time. You see him with my kids down there because I rock with him. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, it was more that family thing that kept me united to him more than any of the rest. Nah, real talk, man. So, man, like I said, good job on that, man. And um, so, you, 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 who else would you like to work with? Damn, um, you've already worked with Ti. Hell, who else you want to work with? Yeah, yeah you got to speak it into existence because you spoke that. So, yeah. might as well speak. Yeah, it last into time me. you was on there, you said Ti. You went and got him. Who, nigga, say it. I don't want to. Like, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm just gonna. I'm happy right now <laughs> <laughs> because it's like I, I won the game, the little video game. I won. You know, that's I mean? hard. Yeah, you I won. You won feel feel like you won. But it's other people. I want. I know I'm logical to know I'm not gonna work with every single legend in the game. Like I, you know, you never know. Yeah, I was you about to say. If you yeah. think it, you if you if you can you can believe it, you can achieve it. But when you start yeah. saying I can't or I won't or I ain't, you stopping yourself. You speak mm-hmm. these things into existence. You right. spoke Ti, nigga, right. speak. Right. Who you want? You should go get that boosted track now. Might as well. Y'all already got a relationship with him. We already. I mean, one character did it. No, nah, but I want you to. I want you to Speak do one with, with, with Boosie. Speak that Drake in existence. I would love to work with Drake, bro. Yeah, really? Yeah. That's the one you you like him. But that's so like intangible in a sense, cause you know. So it just gotta happen. Like people like that, Beyonce. That shit. You'll rock with Beyonce. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, I got a song with Beyonce. Yeah, soldier. Yeah, but you know she out of here now. Like she, she like, <laughs> like you know, that's too far. <laughs> man, it can but, be done, uh, man. I ain't gonna say nothing's too far. That's right. Nothing is too far, y'all. Let me look in the camera and say that nothing is too far. Cause you know what I'm saying. Even Ti was too far at one point in my life. As far now as you doing the song, it. and that's very tangible. And this whole is hard. That's song hard too. Oh, but man. it's so big. It's like the music be like. I don't even know, like, just the moment be so big, it's like, in the song, it's hard, but it's like, you know, it's bigger than just a song, than just the three minutes and 20 seconds, it's like, damn, this shit crazy. Wow. Who else I want to work with, though? 50 Cent. Yeah, that's my other favorite rapper, I would love to do a song with 50 Cent. Who went in a versus between 50 Cent and T.I.? I I don't do that. I hit that (laughs) nigga. You know, I had a real chance, I had a real chance to tell Tip that, I was like, bro, you know, you and 50, bro, you know. Like that's what's up, you know. Who will win? Man, um, it's a tie. I got <laughs> but I want to mess up his He's tie. trying to be very diplomatic. He's like, no, nah, because he know, he know, it, it definitely could be a so thing. Right down the middle. Wow. So, um, man, how can people get a hold of you if they're trying to link up with you? Oh man, DJ K Music, bro. Follow me at Instagram on all social media platforms. DJ K Music. Even on YouTube. On, on YouTube. YouTube. Just. YouTube, just YouTube search DJK and I'll pop up, but the at is DJK Music TV. Man. Mm-hmm. I got a question. So, um, being a mother, I know that with kids, as much as, you know, I hear you say, 
your mom will give you anything off of her back. He says she upon them she, rings. Yeah, because yeah, of she how she is. Them rings in that but we know how DJ. kids. We know yeah. how kids don't like to listen sometimes, and y'all be giving us trouble, and we gonna have to keep repeating ourselves to you and stuff like that. Because I know that you're not no saint. Nobody's yeah. no saint. No. You know what uh, I mean. Uh-huh. So, but yeah. what is it? Tell me. What is it about your mom that you you know that I admire the most? And appreciate the, the most. Um, like she watching this right now. A lot of times we don't always tell our parents. Heart, I think that's her biggest quality. Is she has the biggest heart ever. You know, she got the biggest heart. Like, and it supersedes everything because mm-hmm. you can feel that energy. You know what I'm saying? You just know when somebody is genuinely like how she is like it's not fake it's just how she not she's not perfect either but mm-hmm. you know she got the biggest heart in the world i've seen her do so much for so many different people like genuinely because you want to see people win or be successful or mm-hmm. you know if she can you know but what i take from her is her work ethic like i've seen her do it all like work 12 hours shift jobs growing up and do it all. i'm not gonna say it all but you know Mm-hmm. You know, as far as just you know, the hustler mentality, the hustler mentality, just hustling way back in the gap. But like now, modern day, you know what I'm saying? Right now, she's she's bro, she's not, she's barely sleeping. Like she's staying up to like three, four in the morning a lot of the time, and she's up before eight or nine, some a lot half the time. Or like you know, the latest she'll probably get up maybe is maybe nine. I don't know, like or ten. Like she's up, like she's never really deactivated she's always in it she's and she's doing multiple things like she's not just doing one thing she's in the music industry she's she's she doing has businesses mm-hmm. she got the other businesses she got several businesses a multitude of relationships that she still feeds you know what i'm saying she's still like you know what i'm saying she waters as far as the flowers of these relationships like you have to maintain these relationships you have to be able to like answer the, the phone calls you know Everybody phone calls don't get answered. Like I've heard, you know what I'm saying, y'all talk on the phone that that's that's priceless, you know what I'm saying? So you can't have all the time in the world for everybody, you know what I'm saying? So she's able to fit a lot of this stuff in, like talking to people back to back to back and making business deals and setting up a show all in the same hour. Like you done booked the venue, you talk to the venue people, then you worried about the video, then you got six artists. And we all solid artists. Like, we all got some shit. Like, as far as music, we all got hits. So it's like, you dealing with that, and somebody might throw a, throw a shot on Facebook, say some shit every blue, once in a blue moon, but they might make you pissed off. Money Mo's going to pull up for a minute. You you had to come, you know. Y'all y'all hung out down there, and was, I think y'all was smoking that funny stuff together. So I figured nah, I'd let him. I, 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 I think y'all niggas were doing something together. I don't smoke, sir. Man, man, I feel like she's just the goat. Let's just be real about it. I don't think nobody in Texas is doing what my mama doing, bro. I love your mama. Nobody can't take shit from me because I know that everything has been organic. Like we came from the court, like the like the like the curve with it, and and a lot of this shit is old to Mama Scott. Like I'm not ever gonna not give my mom her flowers. She's the goat, really. Like I want her to get. Like a big ass dope movie one day. Like her life story is great, you know what I'm saying? So she she's a big reason why I'm here. And she so but to bring it all in, man, we got the we got the video party coming this Saturday. Well we're gonna be premiering the video with me and Tip. As long as you know me, that motherfucker hard, bro. And it's a beautiful visual. It's it's not like overly edited or nothing. Like it's very clean, like it's very MTV like like the like man man and you know what's crazy i was trying to top no pretend and i was like now i finally did it you know what i'm saying so now i'm just ready to come out of this shit and just continue working and continue dropping hits and and dope music and we're not signed so i'm not going to compare myself to the artists that signed to the big machine that's getting the playlist in or that's charting but i still feel number one in the world i'm be real and I'm not on the Apple Music charts right now, but I still feel like my album is hard. I don't feel like nobody fucking with my album. I feel like I got the hardest album. I got Tip on there. I got Audi 300 on there. I got my brothers on there. AJ1K and Franchise. Franchise, nigga, shout out. And, you know what I'm saying? Man, Rico Reckless. Reckless. My nigga Reckless, man. 
I feel like I got the hardest album out. Go check that out. Go to my. What you think about out. the money most? What, what what could you what you know? Cause you, I mean, you were a rapper. I mean, and then you stopped, and then you you started back, and nothing ever came out. But you still, yeah, well, you understand the studio. You went down there. You worked. You seen how they set up is their microphones. Their, I mean, um, what do you think? Hey, rapping is easy. I just ain't got time for it. Oh, now you, so you don't it's rap easy. no more. It's got, official. I, I don't have the time you for it right You don't do now. it no more right now. now. No, I guess I don't have, hey, I, I can write right a song. Now, but, I can write a song in 10 minutes, no problem. But you but just, just, you just, time you to backed to off of it now. Yeah, I'd rather, get, I'd rather be behind the scenes. You see this? Scenes. No. I, I told I, you I, No, it ain't that. I learned so much, I can be behind the scenes now. Oh, so now you're going to be like a producer. No. An A&R. No. You, I could be a manager now. Yeah. Oh, now you gonna manage? Yeah, okay, a manager, okay, that's what I'm talking about, I man. Gotta find, I gotta find the right artists. You got to find the right artists. Yes, yeah. they out here. Man. Now, I don't want no, I don't want no rapper. There's a lot of. Artists. Oh, you want R and B rapper? Yeah, I want. R&B. I mean R and B singer. Somebody I'll be like that. It can't be no rapper. I'm tired of them. I'm tired of hearing that gun slang and stuff. Cause I know I really kill them like that. Cause if you was, you would have been dead a long time ago. Thanks. Wow. So I don't want none of that shit, bro. They talk about the wrong stuff, not the right stuff. I need somebody to talk about positive what's going on in life to enlighten people that's that's knowing what's going on in this world. Cause a lot of what's going on in the world, a lot of people are literate to it. Wow. A lot of people are literate to it, bro. Wow. Money Moses just told y'all that. That's the Money Moses sense, bro. dropping knowledge on y'all. Y'all don't understand Money Moses done switched the whole game up. He quit rapping. He don't really do that no more. He don't even want to deal with the rappers no more. He 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 don't really want to be sitting by my boy here. You know, DJK. He just doing that for me. Nah, but nah, he, he really, cool. Listen, nah, 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 you can't say that, bro. No, you can't say that, bro. He no. don't want to manage that. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't love this, bro, mama. Yeah. 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 You tripping. Wait a minute, I love this, mama, bro. You tripping. Okay, okay. You can't All do right. that. All right. I love yeah. your family. Yeah. 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 I love your people, bro. I just went down there, baby. Can't do that. I can't no, I can't manage my cool. Oh, I can't manage it. I'm just saying. I'm just looking at how you say you don't really like being around rappers no more, you know, and you you sitting by a real known rapper just did a song with T.I. How should he feel about that, to, that he accomplished his goal, his mission? <laughs> So how did he feel about it? Yeah, how should how should he feel about that? Man, that that's his goal. He got no. But I'm saying, how would you how would you if you accomplish what what would be what would be your greatest goal? That's probably in the question. what in 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 anything music if you was going because you've been dealing with music now. Bro, I ain't got no real big intentions in music, bro. Because like I said, everybody everybody that you want to rap with is going, and when you meet them in person, they're not gonna be that person. No, you said Tip was cool. Bro, I don't want to write no Tip. So a lot of these niggas. I don't want to song with him. I know that, but he got one. Go. I'm just that's saying. His, that's his goal. Well, who not do you mine. think wouldn't be the same when you met him? Bro, the only person I'll make a song with is the honest God truth is Plies. That's the only one. What about Boosie? That's your number no, one. I don't want to make a song with him, bro. I don't want to talk about that, that, that type of stuff. Oh, Plies is a saint? No, no, he oh, not a saint. Lord. He not a saint, but he can switch it up to that. He can do that. How do you know? What song did he switch it up to that? Bro, I don't listen to every single... What other. song did he switch it up to that? Nigga, don't bro, get on here and to, act like this nigga. start from the Real Testament 1. He got, love, he got a song when they switched it up. He got a, a what Real Testament 2. What bro, song? Know, bro, let me... Bro. That's what I that's thought. That nigga ain't... 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 That Bro, when that whole album come on, bro, I listen to this whole album. You saw the energy change right there when my most come on in line. I know what line, bro. That's the only song. That's the only. What you mean? I like his vibe, bro. Every song that he drops, it's like a vibe to it, bro. Every single one. Man, it's like a vibe it. to his song. You tripping. Bro, I'm pulling flies up. You know what he going to say? Pull him up. I don't give a damn what he say. I'm in the bushes. If he bushes. don't do it, he don't I'm do it. I'm in the bushes. You know what I'm saying? I'm in the bushes. That was a long time ago. <laughs> I'm finna go. Oh, that she got a big. Goon. She, you know, not, yeah, that goon. I yeah, that, he got a lot of voluptuous songs about the ladies. And, and I had some too. And that none of them ever come out. Why didn't your music Because I don't like it, but when I go back and listen to it, be like, bro, you this shelf, stupid. You shelf yourself. Yes, and I can always yeah. get a song with somebody else. Yeah. You shelf yourself. Yes. I got one song that's out right now. It's on YouTube. That's the only one I like out of all of them. What's the name of it? If you actually listen to it, you, you'll see what I'm talking about. What's the name of it so people can go listen Play to it? Play it close. Play it close. They got to pull up Money Moses. Money Moses featuring VIPYG. Play it close. That's and your if song. If you listen to that song, yes, you'll that's see what I'm talking about. That's the only song you ever brought out. Yes. Damn. All that and I didn't even put it studio out. time. I didn't even put it out. You want to know how I put it out? It's like we was in studio together. He was making his album. And he was like, I was just sitting there with my son sleep on the couch, chilling. And he was like, bro, what you got? 
And I was like, all right. And I pulled the song up for him. And I just recorded it. I didn't know it was going to come out like the way it came out. And it's like, it came out way better than I thought it would, bro. Well, y'all go check out Money Moses. One song he rapped one for two, hit, one he song. for three years. Got one song. What is going on? Really <laughs> three <laughs> years, one song. And hey, T, I said it best when somebody said, "Hey, bro, you got three hard songs." You said, well, "I got three hard songs and living like this." Something wrong then? Oh, really? Yes. Nah, if he got three hard songs and living the way he live, what's wrong with that? I don't know who told him that. that that's no, he, he's on live one day. Somebody yeah. was trying to troll he him. Shouldn't, he shouldn't even be listening to him. He on nah, whole he listen, but if he, it, it makes sense. If he got three songs and he living like that, what's wrong with that? You got people that got a hundred songs ain't living like that. Yeah. A yeah. thousand of them ain't living like that. So they say dumb stuff, bro. They trolled him in the wrong can't, way. You can't get too caught up in that. So I don't. let's get back to my boy, man. So Fast CNT, man, the movement, fast, huh? It's, it's fast, man. It's a lifestyle. Man, I brought Money Moses though, cause I know it was gonna change the Shout temperature. Out Money he Moses, yeah, he, he cha- yeah, he changed the Bro, temperature. Why you, never mind. <laughs> I mean, I think he just broke his temperature. You know Bro, I'm finna, like, I'm finna, I'm finna be it. real more more strict on these uh, people too when they come up here, especially the rappers. Uh oh, wait a minute. You especially see, especially well, the rappers. Wait a minute, Steph, You see what I'm dealing with? I want to hear. What bros. do you What do you suppose that we should uh, impl- implement up here on Boss Talk 101 when it comes to the rappers? What are you seeing that that you think could make the show better? Let, let's Stop lying. Oh, they lying. Man, they be lying their ass off, bro. <laughs> they be lying, sitting here lying. I just be laughing in my head. That's why I don't be saying nothing. I hate to be them. <laughs> they just be sitting here lying, but I know they, they I know some of them be lying. I know I be watching them before. I, bro, I know they be lying. No, I'm just, I just about reality. I hate to be them. <laughs> but now, listen, now I'm finna get way more sick. I'm finna start calling out. Huh? When they start lying, when they start lying, I'm gonna call out right we then. We can't there. invite Money Moses. Yeah, man. yeah, we can. No, we yeah, can. Yeah, we can. Everybody, <laughs> hey, they yeah, stop lying. They're learning to stop lying. What so do you say the other day when he came you, here? He you was like, if I'm interviewing him, he don't want to do it. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Exactly. Exactly yeah, what he is, said. Is, is, is you disappointed? I mean, is you disappointed in the lies that you was told? No, it ain't that. It's just I'm tired of hearing them. It's like basically almost the same thing in a different way. Y'all had a rapper come in here telling lies? Man, yeah. Well, oh, Money man. Moses has his way of thinking of how these things happen. Because he's saying this. It be so lies and funny. Like, if, it, if it's so funny, it's show. cool. Like, y'all, you got one. But you got I, I can see it now. Episode, I can see man. it. The gay crib. Man, that shit was so. The uh, gay. Hold on. The, the openly. What did he say? The the, the first gay openly crib, crib rapper. rapper. Yeah. Man, nigga, he lied so much on that. That was ridiculous, bro. Was he funny? Yeah, he was funny as hell. You see, he was, I was going to blow laughing. He back might there, be bro. a comedian. He, he could be a comedian. He need to change uh, to, the rap to the comedian. <laughs> Cause man, nigga made so much lies. He talking about he went to Compton. And, uh, he every, he, hold on, he everywhere. He, he said he went to Compton, knocked on the door. Him and his homegirl for some meal. They he came to the door and said, uh, "On Crip, you better give me my meal." So they gave him some meal because because he said on Crip. Man, it's, it's, it's crazy like, in the game. This nigga said, "Bro, I can go on and on about this." It's man, crazy in the game. That's what it's all about, man. We podcasting yeah, nah, in this like thing, but it be funny though to me, why? though. Why? Why? Cause we be just chilling. It's a vibe, man. It's like a real TV show. You know I mean? <laughs> I'm on set, bro. You know what I'm saying? But now go get the album, man. Shout out, Manny Moses. Hey, make sure y'all, make sure y'all go listen to LD track. I don't know which one. Go listen to LD track. Go listen to LD track. I don't know. Which one it is, yes. Oh, you like it? Uh, no, I ain't never heard it. You just know that go go. Yeah, I just know it. I like yeah. the rap. We about to listen to some music, too. Uh, we finna turn on the vibe. We finna listen. You got that album with you? So it should be on album. You got music? Yeah, we yeah, gonna turn it up. We gonna turn it up. We gonna turn it up. We finna turn it up, man. Mm-hmm. Say, man, listen, man. Um, I enjoyed it, man. Hold on, where your mama? Nah, man, I enjoyed it. Where your mama, Mama Scott at? Where's Mama Scott? She... Doing something. She always on the road. She always busy, huh? Yeah, she, Check it, man. She handling some type of business. Hey, man, I listen, man. Make sure you got to like and subscribe to the channel, man. Hey, y'all better check out my boy Alba, man. Hey, DJ man. K is in the building. And let me just say, man, I just want to tell everybody, you really can get up and go to sleep with this shit on your mind, your heart. And I really mean this shit. I right. Live for this shit, die for this shit, cry for this shit, whatever you want to do about this shit, because I'm one of the ones that, nigga, it's just me and my mama. I ain't had no, I'm not an industry plant. Nobody helped me in this shit. Nobody fronted me nothing. Nobody fronted me nothing. I Listen, <laughs> all the, all the, all the, whatever. But honestly, I feel like it's way more love and hate, you know what I'm saying? And to the artists out there, that's, if you looking up to me, just know, of course, life is going to happen. But through it all, don't forget about what's important. Keep this music shit important. If you really love it, when you get a bag, put that shit into the music. Niggas will 
get a bag and you want to buy a car, you want to buy a watch, you want to buy a chain, or you want to do some shit, that shit going to disintegrate. You don't got a condo, you don't fell off. Whatever you doing, whatever you spending your money on, that's what you living for. Whatever you spending your time on, that's what you living for. So just make sure whatever you living for is what you really want to live for. Say, man, did Trilly produce some of them tracks? Um... Nah, but we oh dang man! Nah, the reason why is because it wasn't <laughs> cohesive with the album. I it would I couldn't. You know, you don't want to force. No, it's a lot of records that it's a lot of records that didn't make the album. But we man, me and Trilly got some shit because I'm probably gonna end up on his album. His album on the way. So franchise album on the shout way. Shout album on the way. Man, shout out all my label mates, man. But nah, like I love to say that shit, bro. This shit real. Like you can really make it happen. You don't gotta sign. I mean, I would love to sign if the deal made sense, but don't sign your life away. Just do the shit. Just ain't nothing stopping you from meeting the people. Post that shit. I lost a whole phone with content from my first Miami trip when I regret it so bad because I ain't post none of that shit. And I probably would, you know, you know, but y'all know all about content, bro. Y'all do content every fucking day. Y'all don't stop. So content is king. Post that shit. Do this shit. Let's out East Texas. Stand up, bro. We in the building. Shout out all my East Texas legends. We in this shit, bro. We really to be taking serious in this shit. We a whole region and, and we here, bro. Man. I-20 East. Saturday, July 29th, DJK video party. is up, bro. Man, appreciate the love, man. <laughs> yeah. it's, hey, listen, man. We love you, bro. We love you. I love y'all, too. Bro. Man, it's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. What a bosses talk. And we out.